Come and show us your face, O Lord, who are seated upon the cherubim, and we will be saved. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess yes. to all of God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask this Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the splendor of your glory dawn in our hearts, we pray, Almighty God, that all shadows of the night may be scattered, and we be sworn to be children of light by the advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. In those days, like a fire, there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered. In his zeal, he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word, he shut up the heavens and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours. You are taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come, to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of fathers toward their sons, and to reestablish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you, and who falls asleep in your friendship. The Word of the Lord. Be to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse your power. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, give us strength to you. Let us see you make it, we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you, Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, which you shall be saved. Alleluia, alleluia. Holy 
Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. As they were coming down from the mountain, the disciples asked Jesus, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He said in reply, Elijah will indeed come and restore all things, but I tell you that Elijah has already come. They did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they pleased. So also will the Son of Man suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them of John the Baptist. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. In our first reading, it speaks of the prophetic understanding that Elijah would return first before the coming of the Messiah. And we see Jesus affirming that John the Baptist was that Elijah figure who came. And one of the things that we heard today in our first reading, which I find very important today to emphasize, God bless you, is Elijah came to turn the hearts of children back to their fathers. Well, let's just say, to return, not only are we think of our children to their earthly mothers and fathers, but we, God's children, to return back to our Heavenly Father. That is so needed every day. And it's not that we can turn to John the Baptist, his, his common goal. But we need every day new Elijah's, new John the Baptist, new precursors of the Messiah, men and women every day to proclaim the gospel, to proclaim the gospel of repentance, the gospel of conversion, so that the Holy Spirit may be able to come into a person's heart. For the Holy Spirit, it can't come into someone's heart when the door is closed because they've never heard the gospel proclaimed, either by the words of, the, of a person or more importantly by the actions of a person and their hearts remain closed. The Holy Spirit doesn't force himself upon people. But yet, if someone is there, that new Elijah, that new John the Baptist, who is able to say those words, that can help just crack the door, maybe to another person's heart, the Holy Spirit can go in. And the work that could be done could be magnificent, glorious in the sight of God. For God comes to turn our hearts of stone into hearts of flesh. And that is why we need these new Elijahs, these new John the Baptist. That's why they need people like you here, you watching, myself. Because the cry of Satan the cry of the prince of this world is so deafening. You turn on media. I always go back to the news because the news is so influential. And listen to the division that they uh, stress. And remember, the name of Satan comes from the term divider in Greek. Satan is a divider. Look at the anger and the divisions that are being caused in society now. Divisions from gender, from race, political ideologies. Yes. Satan is very active in these United States. Not only here, but in other parts of the world. And that is a very scary problem.
proposition. But when we open our eyes and see how much anger and hate is out there, how people are so merciless that they will drive an SUV through a parade, that they will shoot up an elementary school or a high school. When you look at all these random acts of violence, oh, they're not random. They have one area that they proceed from, Satan. Let us recommit ourselves today, turning our own hearts back to God, seeking his forgiveness in the sacrament of reconciliation. Let us proclaim the gospel to those we love, those we like, those we know, those we do not know. Let us be willing to proclaim the gospel by word and deed. Let us assist in the mission of the church to bring men and women their hearts back to the Father. As Elijah did in his time, as John the Baptist did in his time, as we are all called to do in this time. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians, we pray to the Lord. Lord we, we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, pray. we pray for the Coke and Farrier families who lost in the last 24 hours wives and mothers from each. For those who have left from their families and repose of the souls of those who have passed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. And let us pray for Marguerite Westry, for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. Let us pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters, those who watch this Mass on video, and for you here present in our Church of St. Bridget today. For all of you, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, Father and, to and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise of the Lord of the Saint, rather than the Lord of the Church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly, to complete what was begun in sacred mystery, and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, 
For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the desire in the far long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glories without end, we acclaim. Oh, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, are full of your glory. O Son of Lights, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of Lights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, that the God may spirit upon them like to be called, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that the taking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil grace, so grant for peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus, Christ. The, Lord Jesus Christ. the Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Your body and blood are the Lord's and you are Christ. Who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. You graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Yes. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be My recompense is with me, says the Lord, to bestow reward according to the deeds of each. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults, prepare us for the coming feast, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Michael, the God Angel, defend us now. Be our protection against the wickedness and sinners of the devil. May God rebuke him and humbly pray, and he will bring us a heavenly host by the power of Christ and Dale. Save the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The one who the world seeks to be the Son of God. Amen. 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 Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, your God and your man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, and Mary most holy, blessed be the holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be the glory of the Son. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Blessed be the Son of the Lord, the Lord, the Lord.